morning, day seven. Um, I believe it's around 7.30 a.m. right now, so the sun is just starting to come over the hill a little bit. A little chilly last night, but only maybe in the 40s, so not as bad as the 30s that we've been getting. And so calm. No wind. It's been incredible. I can actually sleep without all the wind noise knocking around my rain fly and making all kinds of racket, so that has been great. So camp is all packed up, and uh, it's time for breakfast. So breakfast today is an Oreo and peanut butter burrito. Yeah, some uh, hiker trash food for sure, but I got a sugar craving. Peanut butter's got some protein, and wraps are quick and easy to make and eat. So there's your big three reasons why I got that going on. Plus, yeah, sweet treat. So, and it was the top of my food bag, to be honest. So, just another thing that makes it worthwhile. But so, to, after talking to Darian and Nightcrawler last night, um, they were both planning on going to this place called Burrow uh, Mountain Homestead. So, I guess it's a place where they offer free showers, free camping for uh, CDT through hikers, and they also have some other amenities if you so choose. So. The only issue is it's about 25 miles away, which would be my biggest day on trail so far. Um, biggest day since has been uh, 21, so it's doable. Plus, I'm starting right now, and you know I keep a pretty solid pace. It should be no problem, but just want to make sure I don't overwork my body because it's still just the end of the first week. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to hike that away and just keep pushing. Um, we'll be going over... A peak today called Burrow Peak so that'll be the first climb of this entire hike really and we've gone up and down elevation but haven't really climbed any thing so um, getting excited to climb Burrow Peak and then hopefully be able to have a shower tonight and hang out with some other hikers so we'll see how it goes <sighs> trees out here like actual trees and some shade. This is interesting. Hey buddy. What's going on? Isn't he cute? Oh, have a nice day, buddy. Alright. So, hiking along right now through what you can kind of tell is... I guess you can call it a forest. It's nice. I'm like bobbing and weaving through these trees and it goes slightly downhill slightly uphill which for hikers uh, it takes the boredom out of hiking um, going up and down um, you know challenges the lungs and and the legs so it's uh shakes things up a bit so this has just been a fun trail so far and it's a legitimate trail like footpath with um trail markers nailed up to the trees and everything and it's pretty cool. Um, temperatures in the shade are like at least 10 degrees uh, cooler than out in the sun. So it's nice walking through like right now in this little dark spot. So um, apparently I'm going pretty fast right now. I passed Darian at the top of the hill and she was, she camped a couple miles ahead of us last night. So um, I appear, appears like I'm moving. So Feeling good. Maybe it has something to do with the four burgers I had last night from McDonald's. Uh, maybe those extra, I don't know, 1,500, 2,000 calories might have something to do with my energy levels. But this is going well. So now I'm just hiking through this big sandy area, which is nice underfoot. It's pretty soft. And some trees that give me some shade every now and again. I am about two miles away from a solar well, which is the first water source of the day. Um, so that, that would make it about 13 miles, which is also about the halfway point on this day. So I think that makes it a perfect place to stop, take a rest, because it'll be around noon. And uh, that's when the sun starts getting its hottest. So I can get out of the sun, I can rest, and then I can also have some lunch re-energized for the second half of the day. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, here you have it, folks. Officially the dirtiest water source that I have gotten water from on the trail and this is a necessity because it is the only water source uh 13 miles in either direction so this is what i got to work with and it has pretty much destroyed my sawyer filter because of all the uh particles in it we'll call them 
so the filtration rate is just god awful right now so um it took a long time to filter my water so i'm going to spend some time this evening back flushing it uh, with clean water to get all those particulates out so hopefully i can improve improve the flow rate um but yeah that's looking pretty nasty and the flies and all the moths and everything else that's flying around it just kind of add to the allure and don't forget all the cow poop in every direction so. tiny house isn't that cool yeah that's cool oh side note believe it or not that water from the solar well was actually delicious it doesn't have the well taste that all the other places had it was well natural it tastes like spring water Starting to climb my first peak of the trail, Burroughs Mountain, or Burroughs Peak actually. And finally getting to see some sights. Just trying to walk to the top of my first peak, uh, Jack's Peak I believe, and found this foundation of an old house that apparently was up here, and the fireplace is still mostly intact. Pretty cool. Seems like some other people camp here uh, based on that little fire ring back there. but. Seems like a nice area. Some big pine trees breaking the wind coming over the hilltop and um, just kind of peaceful. I'm digging it. 2.5 to 3 miles to camp. It's about 6 p.m. I spent a lot of time here making phone calls. So uh, there's, a, there's a cell tower right next to us on the next peak. So it's really good cell service. So I just decided to call family and uh, make some updates. So I'm a little behind, but I'm hoping to get into camp around 7, 7.30. That should be right around sunset. Not too shabby. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Look at how gorgeous that is. And of course, everywhere gorgeous has wind noise, but this is why I like walking through the hills. Sure, the elevation kicks your ass, and it, it can be tough, but you get views like that. You're just walking down the trail. Oh, let's take a stop and look around. Oh, bam. Hills, forest, desert, as far as the eye can see, and then more mountains. This is a gorgeous country and a gorgeous trail. I love it. So to end our evening, a 25-mile day. We're coming into an RV camp to try to get some water and spend the night. And it is remarkably quiet through here. It's almost sunset, but everybody seems to be packed away for the night. And it's uh, pretty interesting, but there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds of sites here, because I'm at site 306 right now. So this is getting pretty interesting. Holy crap, you guys. I just had my first encounter with a trail angel. So, as you saw, we are in this little RV park. Um, we went up to the office and talked to the guy. We got free camping, free electricity to charge our phones and GPSs, um, free hot showers, which is where I am right now, in this pretty tasteful, classy room. Um, as much water as we can drink and like no obligation no time frame nothing and he didn't ask for anything he was just come stay with us and have a good time there's a game room with pool tables and there's a coffee maker with coffee there's microwave there's and like warm rooms to hang out in and couches i mean this place is insane and it feels pretty good so uh, I think we're going to hang around here quite a bit longer than usual. So I will be sleeping in tomorrow morning. And um, when apparently when the office opens up, so will food. So they sell cheeseburgers, like hot dogs, cooked food, and they also have ice cream, soda. So I will definitely be patronizing their business because they have been overly generous. This is incredible. The uh, Burroughs Mountain Homestead, that's the one. So... It's been really great and I'm feeling awesome.